City London Group is an, an AIM listed company uh, with a market capitalisation of about £70 million. The main focus of growth within the City of London Group will be through our subsidiary Recognised Bank Limited. Three years ago, we set about to develop a lending business focused on the SME sector. At the end of 2020, we obtained a banking licence, although it does have some restrictions at this particular juncture, which we hope will be released within the next few months. And we've done that basically through a number of fundraisers over the course of the last couple of years. We're very fortunate to have three large, very supportive shareholders. The Bard family have been shareholders in the business for many years. They're very large property investors across London. A DV4, which is a fund that is advised by Delancey, and during the latter part of 2020, Ruth Parasol became our largest shareholder. Ruth is a very successful entrepreneur who built uh, Party Gaming, although he's been out of that business for, for several years. And she's joined the board uh, of City London Group. Since the financial crisis, there's been a significant unrelenting denuding of service from the big banks to SMEs. They've lost their relationship contact. They've lost regular continuity. They've been forced into call centres. It, it really is a, a terrible level of service provision. So for us, we really feel compelled. Bear in mind this SME segment is the backbone of the economy. It's actually 52% of our gross domestic product, over two trillion pounds. It employs over 16 million people. It is such a critically important sector and we feel passionate about serving it better. So we've worked for the last three years building um, an, a, what we call a technology enabled relationship banking service. It means that we can have intimacy, we can have accessibility, we can build a very responsive capability. Let me give you a quick example. We recently had a four million pound commercial real estate transaction that we closed uh, and completed three weeks after credit committal approval. That is unprecedented. Uh, most of our larger competitors take five to six months to complete transactions of that size and complexity. So we're bringing a fresh approach. It's relationship led, it's intimate, it's also responsive, and we can complete transactions quickly. Entrepreneurs need that certainty and clarity, and they also want that um, availability. We're gonna provide it. We were licensed in the middle of November, and we were able to launch straight away for lending products. We've launched commercial real estate lending, short-term bridging loans, working capital loans, and we've launched professional practice loans. Post our full authorization, we'll be able to take deposits and we've got a full range of deposit services. We've also got some plans to launch lending relating products. We'll be launching our professional buy to let for professional landlords. And later towards the end of the year, we'll be launching our asset finance offer. So that's HP and leasing. The SME part of the British economy is the largest part of the economy in terms of the number of businesses, the number of people employed. Yet our sense is that they are poorly served in terms of that the larger banks, the larger financial institutions don't really have the necessary resource they're able to serve that, that part of the market adequately. So if you look at the listed sector, there are very few, if any, uh, lending businesses that are focused on that particular part of the uh, economy. We believe that we now have a huge opportunity post-Brexit, hopefully post-pandemic, in terms of us being able to, to focus on that particular part of the economy.